Hurricane Dorian continues to wreak havoc on the Carolinas. We have pictures taken late Thursday as the storm inched closer to Wilmington. Powerful winds and heavy rain pounded the North Carolina city. Dorian has been downgraded to a Category 1 hurricane with sustained winds of about 90 miles an hour. The storm is expected to weaken over the next few days. At 1 a.m., the hurricane was about 40 miles east-northeast of Wilmington, it was moving northeast at about 15 miles per hour. In North Carolina, all eyes are currently on Dorian as it continues to move in the Atlantic. Michael Highland is live in Wilmington. Michael, we know there's just been a lot of wind and rain out there so far this morning. Yeah, unfortunately, within the last few minutes, the rain, it seems like, has finally all but stopped here. We're just getting that occasional strong wind gust coming through here, and that's one of the reasons that the police behind me still have this bridge blocked off that connects where I am in Wilmington over to Wrightsville Beach, which is right on the Atlantic Ocean over here. I want to show you some of the video from a few hours ago when we had that really heavy rain come through here and those strong winds as well. The local government here in New Hanover County just sent out a notice to people to stay off the roads this morning so they can get out and survey any damage damage from Hurricane Dorian. The good news with this is even though we're dealing with some localized flooding in the area, it's nothing on the scale of what we saw in this region a year ago when Hurricane Florence just devastated this part of North Carolina. I talked to some people who left town a year ago ahead of that storm who decided to stay this time. They told me about why and what they did to prepare. We got lucky where I was. It's kind of more elevated. But um, yeah, I didn't want, I wouldn't want to have to try to carry my big pit bull out of the house who can't swim very well so and so why did you decide to stick it out here for this storm then i don't anticipate it to be as bad especially where i live it's kind of brick and what did you do to get ready since you are staying um just went to the store did the usual lots of water lots of you know food that's not going to go bad if the power goes out all that stuff maybe some extra batteries extra chargers And for thousands of people in this region, that is what has happened. That power has gone out for them. And with the winds kicking up like they still are, it's not going to be safe for crews to get out there and start restoring for the power for people around here for at least another few hours. Live in Wilmington, I'm Michael Highland. Back to you.